you having, I don't want to call it, maybe you put that, that term on it, a near-death experience, but you, you did think your life was at right. risk with some of the decisions you were making. You had to get to that point before right. you made health changes in your life. Talk to those people, and I know you're an investor Without in JetDoc, but I, talk to those people who, we don't want them to get to that point, to being in a hospital before they make different uh, decisions about their health. And, and most definitely, that's, that's, that's what's really driving me. The fact that I've had a seizure and, you know, I woke up, you know, from being unconscious on the toilet before. And I've never even spoke on this, but I suffered from seizures a long time. Like I said, I, I've deprived myself of rest, no sleep, maybe two to three hours on a good night, you know, staying up, chasing my dreams. I always thought I had the best excuses, but don't nothing come before life, life in, in, in itself. And we understand uh, health care is about life and death, but really this is about the quality of life. Uh, you know, you being able to enjoy, you know, the time we have. Well, my man, it's good to see you. Glad to hear the health is going well. And again, Jet Doc, which you're an investor in now, you're trying to get the message out about people and their health, and maybe they won't end up in the hospital before they decide to make some changes. Most and, definitely. And, and Dr. Ashton, I, I want what, everybody not. Where, where are we on the rose for, for morning? Uh, maybe for, for wait breakfast? till afternoon. But afternoon. I, I, I like the telemedicine concept. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's some free doc advice for you, Rick Ross. It's good to see you, my man.